Did Moses build two arcs of the covenant? Two distinct arcs of the covenant built by Moses during the time of the wandering in the wilderness. Well, let's open the Bible and find out. It's very interesting if you take a careful reading of scripture, you discover that Moses had two arcs of the covenant built. So where do we find this interesting fact out? Well, if you have your Bible, you turn to the book of Deuteronomy. And we're going to look at Deuteronomy chapter 10. And it says, And at that time Jehovah, Yahweh, the Lord, said to me, Cut two stone tablets like the first ones and come up to the mountain to me. It's Mount Sinai or Mount Horeb. Also, Make an ark out of wood. I will write on the, tab the tablets the words which you were which were on the tablets that you broke, and you shall place them within the ark. So I made an ark of acacia wood, and cut two stone tablets like the first ones, and went up the mountain with the two tablets in my hand. So Moses continues and writes. So I made an ark of acacia wood and cut the two stone tablets like the first ones, and went up the mountain with the two the two tablets in my hands. And then the Lord wrote down on the tablets what he had written before, the ten words which the Lord had spoken upon the mountain in the midst of the fire on the day of the assembly. And the Lord gave them to me. So I turned and came down from the mountain and placed the tablets in the ark that I had made. And there they have remained as the Lord has commanded me. Now, if you look in the book of, of uh, Exodus, it mentions that Moses had an ark built by two artisans, uh, one of whom uh, was Bezaliel. But let's look first at the plan of the Ark of the Covenant, and this is in chapter 25, uh, verse 10 of the book of Exodus. It says, You shall make an ark of acacia wood, two and a half cubits long, and one and a half cubits wide, and one and a half cubits high. Plate it inside and outside with pure gold, and put a molding of gold around the top of it. Cast four rings and put them on the four supports of the Ark, two rings on the one side and two rings on the opposite side. Then you shall make poles of acacia wood and place and plate them with gold. These poles you shall put through the rings on the sides of the ark for carrying it. They must remain in the rings and never be withdrawn. In the ark you are to put the covenant which I have given to you. Then you shall make a cover of pure gold, two and a half cubits long and one and a half cubits wide. Make two cherubim. Uh, these are winged sphinx, angelic beings, of beaten gold for the two ends of the cover. Make one cherub at one end and the other at the other end with one piece with the cover at each end. The cherubim shall have their wings spread out above, sheltering the cover with them, and they shall face each other with their face turning towards the cover. This is the cover you shall place on top of the ark. In the ark you are to put the covenant which I have given you, and there I will meet you from above the cover between the two cherubim on the ark of the covenant, and I will tell you what I command you regarding the Israelites. Now... If you turn also in the book of Exodus, we go to chapter 27. And it mentions that Bezazel made the ark of acacia wood two and a half cubits long and uh, one and a half cubits wide and one and a half cubits high. The inside and outside were plated with gold and the molding of gold was around it and it continues with uh, a condensed description which we found earlier uh, in that scripture. Now if we go to chapter, chapter 35, verse 30, uh, earlier than chapter 37, it says, uh, Moses said to the Israelites, See, the Lord has singled out Bezazel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah, and has filled him with divine spirit of skill and understanding and knowledge in every craft. And he has also given him Holiab, the son of Ahimeshek, of the tribe of Dan, the ability to teach others. So these are the two people who actually built the ark. Now, the original ark seems like it was built by Moses himself, and uh, we were discovering, discussing this in our Torah portion study, and it was theorized that um, the ark built by Moses was a smaller case 
and this case that contained just the Ten Commandments was placed within the larger Ark of the Covenant. But uh, <laughs> it's, it's interesting. So you had an Ark built by Moses, and then we have an Ark built by uh, Bezalel, uh, with the instructions that Moses received from Mount Sinai. So it seems like we had two different arcs. But since it says in Deuteronomy that it has remained in that arc, uh, it seems like the most logical explanation was this was a smaller box uh, that contained the Ten Commandments that was placed into the later Ark of the Covenant. But for a while, there was the Ark that Moses built that was used to uh, as the only case for the uh, for the Ten Commandments until the later Ark of the Covenant uh, was built. And uh, it doesn't say that the original Ark was coated with gold, but like the later Ark of the Covenant, it was made out of acacia wood. So that's very fascinating. 